In this video, we'll be talking about the coming of the end of time, Malhama, the coming of Mahdi, Dajjal, all because of what this person is doing right behind me. Stay tuned. In a rare pre-recorded address, Putin claimed the West is, quote, trying to destroy us and that, quote, Russia will use all the instruments at its disposal to counter a threat against its territorial integrity. This is not a bluff. The potential nuclear threat comes amid major setbacks for the Kremlin on the battlefield. Russia is also planning to hold sham referendums beginning Friday on parts of Ukraine joining Russia. These votes are illegal under both Ukrainian and international law. Brothers and sisters, if you are new to this channel, interested in the topic of end of time and current Muslim affairs, then this channel is for you. Consider to subscribe. The exasperated Putin, or should I call the feral Putin, or should I call somebody who is completely mad and is going wild, he believes, regardless of how you put Putin these days, he believes that using nuke, nuclear weapon, won't be an aberration from modern day warfare. In fact, a few days ago, he said, that U.S. used nuclear weapon in Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, he said that was something completely okay. Why, if Russia is nuking Ukraine, won't be okay? Basically, that's the question he asked. Now, he is willing to flout, dear brothers and sisters, international laws, agreements, human rights, to avoid Russia being pulverized. And we know that he is now countervailing any kind of failure and he is becoming more and more on the failure side with nuclear threats this is exactly what he is doing and now we talk about the coming of the mahadi the coming of end of time what is going to be the future look like this is what we want to talk about in this video inshallah I repeat, we are talking only about partial mobilization. In other words, only military reservists, primarily those who served in the armed forces and have specific military occupational specialities and corresponding experience will be called up. And behind it all, the nuclear threat, falsely claiming the West had threatened Russia and so Russia would use everything it had to defend its territorial integrity. I want to show you a few things uh, from this article, dear brothers and sisters, as you can see that in a speech on Friday, an increasingly unhinged Vladimir Putin facing battlefield setbacks abroad and growing dissent at home railed against what he portrayed as a hypocritical and gender-based mad west. His address included a transphobic rant about same-sex marriage we know and also sex change operations and outright satanism vladimir putin right now he is telling the whole world that look the west is evil that's satanic and therefore you need to side with us and that our war is actually noble also dmitry mevdedev uh, he's the deputy chairman of russia security council and he was the president of uh, russia he also is saying the West is bad and also he said I'm supporting the special military operation in Ukraine echoed the remarks days later saying that Russia could use nuclear weapon in Ukraine quote without asking anyone's permission without long consolations if it felt the very existence of our state now expanded to include Donbas region. Remember, Donbas is not uh, part of uh, you, uh, you, sorry, Russia. It is part of Ukraine. He's saying if Donbas is under attack, that would mean Russia is under attack, and that would be considered as existential threat. NATO would not dare respond. Medvedev added and risk a broader nuclear conflagration over. Quote, a dying Ukraine that no one needs. I mean, this is coming from a guy who is becoming very, very arrogant with what he is saying at the moment. The point here is that now let's talk about the coming of the Manhama because regardless of how you see the whole situation unfolding in Ukraine, one thing we can all agree on is that this is leading us to a more dangerous path, perhaps the 
end of the world. Who knows? This is exactly what is happening at the moment. I want to mention few things. Number one is that, dear brothers and sisters, Russia, if they go to war with Ukraine and the West, and they are at war with Ukraine, but if they decide to attack some European countries, Baltic nations, Scandinavian nations, and even US, then it will be the end of the world that we know today. Yes, can you believe? This is not a bluff. The citizens of Russia can be sure that the territorial integrity of our homeland, our independence and freedom will be ensured. What will happen after that, WW3? According to my understanding, doing some research and understanding the end of time hadith, what I came to the conclusion is that only the most wicked of Jew and Christian will remain. Don't mistake by thinking that, well, only Jew, wicked Jew Christian will remain means no good Jew or Christian will remain. They will remain. There will be some good Jew and Christian that will be still alive. However, the power will go to the most wicked one. At the same time, the best of Muslims will remain. So the end of world, you know, through the World War III, will bring about these two groups of people. On one hand, you have wicked, super bad, evil, satanic people who are out and about to catch the most righteous, pious Muslims alive at that time. The reason I'm saying that these Muslims will be the best is because, dear sisters, Allah Azzawajal will send the Jal during that time and he will not test unless the Muslims are the best because the test of the Jal is the worst. So he will be using or he will be giving the Jal to the best of people. Number two, dear, dear brothers and sisters, number two point. Then after the WW3 will come a time of great coalition. Russia, the West, non-Muslims, they will learn their lesson of divi division. Right now, the West is treating Russia as a boogeyman. They are saying Russia is not our guy. He is not going to be with us because if he is with us, if Russia is with NATO, then there is really no reason for NATO to exist. We need to find a boogeyman. So they found Russia as a boogeyman. But after WW3, there will be no boogeyman. This entire coalition, the Jew, the Yahudi, the Nasara, will gather together. Why? Because after WW3, all this technology they have invented, especially for coming from the West, will be gone. They will have nothing to rely on at the same time these non-Muslims will see the Muslims becoming a dominant force. Remember, this time is the time of Mahdi, great victories, great battle. So, after WW3, all of these non-Muslim countries, they will gather together to fight the Muslims and Rasulullah SAW, he prophesied. And this is how they will uh, fulfill the prophecy when Rasulullah SAW, he said, they will gather together for the great battle and there will be 80 banners each banner will have 12,000 troops means this is the time when these troops these banners will be raised against the Muslims when the, the Nasara Yahudi will see that the Mus Muslims Islam is becoming dominant force. This is also going to be the time when the Christians will try one more time to fulfill the prophecy, the biblical prophecy of the coming, the second coming of Jesus, peace be upon him. Remember in 1999, hundreds and thousands of Christians went to Jerusalem and they waited under the Mount of Megiddo for Jesus to appear. That did not happen. A lot of Christians, it is being alleged, a lot of Christians, they committed suicide. This is the time when they will try one more time going and trying to find out if the Mahdi is there, sorry, the, if the Jesus is there, what they will end up having is at the Jal because Allah will not give them Jesus, Isa Alayhi Salam. In fact, Isa Alayhi Salam will come to break the cross. Dear brothers and sisters, Malhama is about to happen. Are you ready with your Iman? Are you ready to repent? This is my question. And inshallah, when the Mahdi is here, we're going to give him our support, full support to Mahdi and to Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah bless us, guide us to the right path. And I hope that this war will end in Russia. We do not want war. 
we want peace we want stability at the same time we want to be prepared because bad days can come throughout humankind history we have seen there is going to be always ups and downs new here consider to subscribe see you in the next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh